got these delicious goat's cheese quiche from Mars. Oh. so beneficial to the environment and most people don't realise that. It's lovely. It's so pretty. It's that pretty. It's that so pretty. You know, you get ignorant people, they write to the council, what's all that rubbish growing there? Get rid of it. Put some gravel down, tarmac it over, and they take notice of them. They should have the courage to come out and educate the great British public and say no, it's important for the environment. But they appease them instead and get rid of things. And then that damages it for everybody. Not just the ignorant people, but everybody. Honestly. So pretty these things. They're beautiful. I don't understand people who look at it and think, oh, it's untidy, get rid of it. We're right, everybody agrees with us. That everybody thinks it should be gone. And, and then the councillors and the politicians listen to those sort of people and think, oh, well, we better do it because we don't want to lose votes. It's time to take a stand for the environment, for God's sake. You know, people who complain about these lovely flowers, I understand it. Well, we're going to oblige today. I'm going to put the light on because it's, we've got the usual washed. Wow. Still in the middle of intense heat wave and the sun's out but um it's like this in here um i'll get the mundane stuff out of the way first i've got this from marks and spence's ocean fresh and it really does smell very nice oh my hair creepy i wouldn't know what to do without that from asda i've got these from the local co-op i'm very pleased to see asda sell these now i've got these that this for 150 this is a lovely one this is um what was it? it was, oh, handmade biscuit delight. That one's called. Look, and yeah, it does smell very, very nice. More the sort of thing you need in the winter. These are two for four pound. I got um a nice uh coral coloured one. There, I got a size too big because I felt I don't want anything too clingy on me in this hot weather. So they're two for four pound in Asda. And, um, oh, I'm uncomfortable here. Candy Sweets, at last they've released her as a full-size shoppy. I do admit to being a little bit disappointed that she's not the same colour scheme as the little shoppy version of her was. The, um, so it's not on the screen, hang on. Um, which was just mainly shades of pale pastel pink and very candy and pretty she looked too. But I do like this one. Well, I would have preferred her to look exactly like the original Little Shoppy Candy Sweets. But she's still nice. Let me try and read this. And of course it's written. You know what I'm like trying to read written writing. I have problems with things that are written as opposed to things that are printed. And this is a white on a very pale background. Candy sweets with sweet sugary swirls of cotton candy curls. Candy sweets, wild style, is buzzing with cuteness. It's no wonder her 
Oh, it's no wonder her flipped and flopped and fluffy trip oh, trifle. Um, I can't read that funny writing. On a pale background. Oh, let me get under the light. No wonder her flocked and fluffy tribe follows her wherever she goes. Oh, it's no wonder her flocked and fluffy tribe follows her wherever she goes. So I wonder if they're flocked, these Shopkins. What are they called? Candy Street's flocked and fluffy tribe. Yeah, um, the only wild style one I've got so far is the one with the bloomers. I think it's Rainbow Kate. And I wasn't going to get her. I don't know why I did, really. But I liked the ears that she's got. This is Candy Cake. That Shopkin is called Candy Cake. That one down there. And Sweetie, Sweetie Sips. That one, Sweetie Sips. There. And uh, your wild style. I haven't got the. There's a Pippa Melon one, which I wasn't keen on. I've got the. I like the original Pippa Melon, but I wasn't keen on the wild style. I'm not sure. I'm, I would have thought I would have had the wild style Pioretta because I love Pioretta, but where she's got her legs stuck out, it looks a bit silly. So and I may. I may not have got her. I'm going to have to have a look, backtrack and see. Now I've got this little dolly. She reminds me of somebody. I got her in one of those che a cheap little gift shop. Oh, hang on my back. I have to sit at such an odd angle. She's got these little straight stick legs, which I don't like. I, I think, it, especially with a shorter skirt, it looks ridiculous. Look, so I'm going to have to find a long dress for her to wear and to, to come down to here at least. And then someone else can have this. And also, this dress doesn't fit her properly. It doesn't do up properly at the top. It's too small for her. Now, she reminds me of someone. I don't know uh, one of the, someone famous. Let me try and sit down again. Oh. And, of course, sitting down stopped the recording. Because it touched the laptop. I think her foot touched. But she's got nice little shoes on. But, um, yeah... So she needs another dress to wear. I'm going to have to find her something that fits her and is longer. But she's got a pretty little face. She reminds me of someone. I can't think who. And I've got another mermaid to go with my one with the blue hair, aqua hair, called Mistral. And there is one with dark blue hair. I might get her as well because these little things are different colours in this one. On Miss Brow's box, the pink little seahorse is yellow, and this fish is pink, and um, so they're different, yeah, and I don't know what the ones in the blue box are going to be. If they're going to be blue, let me just have a look at Miss Brow. Hang on, I'll just get her box over. Oh, yeah, no, it's just, they're still pink and yellow, and... Um, let me just get Mistral out of her box. She's got very loose, her tail's loose. And their tails turn round at the bottom and, and they wiggle about. But Now, she was bold at the back until I... St Sorry if I'm shouting, I'm trying to be heard above the radio, listening to Garden's Question Time. She was bold at the back, but I stuck her hair down with some glue and I gave her some earrings because she had ear holes, but she didn't have any earrings. See, so I've given her earrings. So this one is going to have to have earrings as well, the pink one. And of course she's bold at the back at the moment. See what I mean? I hate that. I just, I cannot stand that on dolls. So that's going to have to be covered. And her tail twists and she wiggles about, but she's not as loose tailed as this one. So here's Mistral, my original one, and here's the new edition. I don't know what I'm going to call her yet, and I'm going to have to find some earrings for her to wear. I made these ones for Mistral from two pound land necklaces. Ne necklace packs, I should say, where you get jewels to put on a pendant. So there's my new girl, new mermaid, and, and this one, but I don't know what names these are going to have 
as of yet. Oh, and I've got the can. The, what are they called? Candy pops that I got from uh, Home Bargains. We never looked at them properly, did we? Never looked properly. No, I'm sorry. It's really too hot down there. I just can't cope with it. It's it. Oh, it's cooler downstairs than it is up here. But having to reach across and move things and find things and take things out and then it's t it makes it's. I can't cope. With, I can't deal with it. I've just the heat is intense. And of course, we're not used to it in this country as much as I love it. We're just not used to it. I saw someone yesterday, and she was saying, "Oh, I can't stand this heat. I can't stand the cold." But it is, you know, inside it's too hot. It's quite nice out. But um, so we look at the, the dollies in more detail. Not for those who like them, I might even put it on my doll channel. And because um, this is just primarily the showing haul items, so I might get the other dark hair dark blue haired mermaid and then I find some earrings I make some earrings for her and then I'll show you when that's done I might just stick on some and use some of those stick on pearl pink pearls to stick on this one we'll see and this one needs earrings as well because she's got earring holes so I'm going to have to make some for her right I'm going to use this pink pearl they don't that they are self-adhesive but they won't stay on the dolls out off their own adhesive so I have to use my wood wood glue to stick them so they just fall off straight away and um, maybe this one can have a pale pearly pink you know from these this is one of those uh, 99 pence store purchases that I got with the 99 pence store was still there and I wish they still were because I do miss that shop so that'll look all right on her, I think, rather than making ones and then sticking them in so she can have that stuck on. Oh, and here's Cupcake. I named her Cupcake. I found her out because she carries a cupcake bag with her. And um, she's got nice earrings. Always a bonus when the dollies have earrings, I think, and jewellery. Something I always look for. No ring. <laughs> Oh, and my top that I got from Primark that um, I never did show properly before. Um, it's, it's, I'll, sh I'll show you the back. Hang on. The back's got some, can you see these cross straps? It says another size too big. And it's not as big as the one I got from Tesco, but it's got the, that sort of strap, which sort of keeps it, keeps it up a bit, stops it falling down. I hope you could see that. Am I in the right place? to show it oh dear I never know so we've got milk chocolate coated almonds with raspberry dusting and we've got a freeze dried black currants with marbled white chocolate and white chocolate and yogurt coated almonds not very nice I think it's time this one came out of her box this is a 99 pence store purchase. I got her from the 99 pence store when they were open, obviously. Truly loved. Big hair doll. <laughs> so, she needs earrings as well. She's got ear holes. Earring holes, rather, but no earrings, so it's time I got her some earrings. I haven't named her yet. Oh, she's been released from her box. She's very her dress is very papery and lightweight. She's got no shoes. These things, these ties, are useful to make earrings to, to stick something on and then put them through their ear holes. But she's very, very lightweight. I should imagine any child who played with this would completely destroy the poor thing in no time. You know what kids are like. Some of them anyway. And she's got no shoes and um well, we're 16th of July, President Trump has just had his meeting with Vladimir Putin. And um, what next for the great man, you know? Kim Jong-un and Theresa May, now Vladimir Putin. All hell the great Trump. He'll be walking on water next. But um, good for him, though, if he's achieved something. But, um, dear, uh, it's nice. Let's hope it, it's um, positive results. And that he's not just being taken in by these people, but I mean, you know, he's an astute businessman, so I should imagine he knows what he's doing. Anyhow, dolly, dolly, dollies.
dollies. Oh, everything was as nice and uncomplicated as the dollies. And uh, if you believe that, well, there's nothing at all uncomplicated about collecting dolls. I can tell you it's very problematic. Oh, put some cream on top of my beetroot juice. It's very nice. My cup's full of tannin stains, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'll try these from a local Sainsbury's. <laughs> well, I've used this and uh, if I seem to get bitten. St I don't know, I was, had high hopes for this, skin so soft. And I got up and I was putting it on me and there was a flea on my leg, a, a cat flea, uh, just as I was doing it. And then I sprayed the flea with it and then it jumped off. So I touched it and it jumped off. So I don't know. I'm so pleased I've got this back. Look at this. It's delicious. I've got some of this to help with these bites. Shortbread and a cup of Earl Grey. and cinnamon with cream. rooms are closed this time of day so I'm innovating. These are nice aren't they? Very lovely. Marks and stars. Oh I do like these. I do like these. And there's those. Oh these are nice. Oh they are nice. Alright I've got two of them. Flamingos. He said, did you realise they had two different designs? I thought, oh wow, no. <laughs> oh dear. And I got four bras. And from Lidl. Oh, I like these things. And some of this. Oh, much. from yesterday from Marks and Spencers, Lidl and Asda. For Marks and Spencers, yeah, the usual cappuccino and the mint. And I got these lovely um, glass, whatever they are, uh, plastic beakers, I think they're called. These, these from Lidl, you know I love those. This mint cream. These, Asda, are now selling at only one the same as Sainsbury's used to charge. They're two pound in Waitrose, two pound in the co-op, or that one ninety nine in the co-op. Two Phillips screwdrivers. I need those for my. Where is she? Where is she? My Barbie camera video doll because I need to put some bass. I've got two different sizes of Phillips because I can't. The others all buried under there somewhere. 
and it's getting to the meat time. I got this from Asda, a cheap hairbrush, but it looks just like the Mason Pearson, famous Mason Pearson brushes, and it says real bristles, and they last for years. I also got this new digital camera, and let's hope that this one will take normal memory cards like my camera takes, and not mini ones. I bought one from Sainsbury's once, and I've never used it. It takes some micro SD cards, which I've never got around to doing anything with, but and I can't find it now. But that, well, I can't. I mean, if I turn it, move a load of stuff, and then I got four bras, two packs of bras from Marks and Spencers. I'm not going to try these on for you now. I did try one on of each pack in the store, and was walking about in the store with on over my top. Here's the just the same picture on each one so yeah because I can't put the webcam on now it's too problematic and uh, so hopefully you know I don't want to say goodbye to my little camera I should still use it it takes good videos indoors so that's my little mini haul I might tack it on to the end of the last one if it doesn't make it too long or I may start off a new one with it but I've got two that's not gone in yet so I'm well behind one, two weeks late. Anyway, never mind about all that. Yeah. Sorry if I appear manic, but I am manic. And I'm anxious about not letting it go on too long, but I know people like to see things properly at the same time, so here's the bras, that's one pack of those. And there was a nice pale lemon yellow one I wanted. They had it in every single size imaginable, except mine. So, yeah. So that's my little haul from yesterday. We'll have a now. There's a little tiny plant coming out on the updated Friends of the Earth wildflower plants here. A little small one of the ones that came up before. Where are we? It was the 22nd of July today, 2018. And these were still going strong last year. And, um, yeah, we're still in the middle of this very, very long, hot summer. I'm not complaining, but we do need some rain. We definitely, desperately need some rain. Oh, pretty little paws. <laughs> somebody in her little place. She's found a new place now in the garden. She used to be further over there. Now she's down here. What a funny little paws a shady spot in my garden. It's about the only shade round here in my garden, isn't there? Very nice, these plants. Got two on that one. Oh, in the middle of the night, and I'm kept awake by noise outside the traffic road works and someone in a house right across the road from me, not even opposite, but right in the, in the back of a house, and they have a widescreen TV all night long, and it reflects on my wall. It's in a, a high room in, in one of the flats that's right and um, not even opposite me. It's not on the other side of the road here. It's right in another road that sort of runs up diagonally sort of to this one, and it's in the back of a house and it reflects on my wall and I can just sit flickering all the time so yeah Natalia she doesn't think much of it neither does Marlies or Kirsten or Chelsea or Trevor or Babette or has anybody come to that and I certainly don't and this is Petronella and now a little somebody's come in in the middle of the night as well ten past four in the morning when I could just put my plants out. They're waiting out there all night, poor little paws. Yeah, it's a funny little quiet meow. Oh dear. <laughs> Come on, you dolly. She looks very nice. Nice hair healed. I thought this dolly sweet the silver had flat feet. I'm so glad this one's got heels. Nice little outfit. And I, this dolly, a beach dolly, and some outfits, and the ridiculous packaging. I've already got this outfit on, Jailina, or is it Jabina? One of my dollies has got this dress. And this was sent in a massive box with loads and loads of 
packing grains, particularly this. I'm nearly a practically a cup of bath because it's so hot. And there's a lovely.